Hey hi hello welcome to another video in this video I'll be talking about how to create heat maps in collections within pivot tables so first of all let's try to understand why we need pivot tables uh, pivot tables makes it very easier for to understand trends within data or what are the highest value or the lowest value within the data right so for an example uh, in within this pivot table i have taken two dimension year and month so here uh, if you see right uh, most of the monthly values what you are seeing they are identical right so it's very hard to identify if there is some kind of pattern right now or let's say what is the highest value or the lowest value when you see at uh, this numbers right but once we convert in, uh, into heat maps right so it would be very easier for you to understand for this particular year which was uh, a month which made the highest amount of sale and which was the month made the lowest amount of sale based upon that you can understand your data set better so let's see how to create the heat map within the pivot table here uh, here as you can see uh, for this basically uh, for this scenario what we'll be trying to understand is uh, for every particular year which are the months which are doing the lowest amount of sales so let's see so to that right what i'll do is within the measures okay uh, uh, i'll go into the background color i've commented the expression for now so i'll uncomment it first of all so let's try to understand what this expression is basically we are using color mix to function which takes four parameter which is taking four parameter here uh, but by default it needs at least three parameters so let's click on apply and then let's see how the charts look like first so here as you can see right now as as i turn on that expression right so here now it is very easier for you to understand which are the months doing the lowest amount of sale which are in the red colors right so for 1998 you can see it is a uh, lighter red here and the highest red is here so it could be a case like this month was recorded half because we don't have the future values as well so this month could have been recorded half due to which it is showing it here but still if you see highly like uh, february is the month which makes the lowest amount of sale and second inference can be also like as february has the uh, had, uh, as february ranges between 28 to 29 days as compared to 30 or 30 one days in other months right it is seeing the lower amount of sale so what we can do is we can take uh, for every single month right average uh, number of sales done per day for that specific month and we can try to identify that but for this purpose we will uh, limit our analysis to the monthly level itself but now it is very easier to understand right so let's uh, try to understand what is the expression first so here if you see the expression right ex expression consists of three uh, parameters like uh, four, four sorry four parameters so here in the first parameter right uh, uh, first parameter in the color mix uh, two uh, function right what does it expects a value between minus one and one and then based upon minus one and one right uh, whatever color you specify here it will uh, it will create a, a create a heat map like visual on your pivot table so here uh, here are the color rgb values what i've done is like uh, if if the if the value what it produce is uh, is uh, minus 1 so in that case it will do a green if it is 1 it will do a red if it is between that that is zero it will do a yellow okay now let's and and the, and the end result would be a gradient right it is not outright uh, solid colors it would be a gradient between these colors okay so now let's try to understand what is the expression and how does it gives us value between minus one and one okay so first of all we take uh, we do a rank okay a rank on top of the column itself so column one will give you the expression of what uh, what measure has for an example in in this expression we have uh, sum of revenue right so basically it will take the sum of revenue and it will do a rank for every single uh, every single month right on uh, within that specific year first of all that that's that needs to be understood and then afterwards right what it will do is it will uh, take the number of rows okay and then it will divide it by two and whatever that value comes in right let's take number of rows were four and it was divided by two you get two as a value then what it will do will uh, do is uh, it will take that rank and it will divide it by two and whatever that number it gets right uh, gets right it will do a minus with one uh, to make sure the number ranges between minus one and one if the expressions explanation is not clear you can go back to the specific timestamp and you can try to understand it better but yeah th this is how we, we are able to get the a heat map like visual that is another thing to it guys uh, let's uh, let's say if i do uh, calendar year uh, as uh, as rows right uh, let me do it here let me do it here 
now i'll push calendar year here and i'll take month as the columns now if you see uh, my heat map is broken so like it, it it is doing it year wise so for an example uh, when you see a january right or in which year january did the lowest amount of sales it is showing you color based upon that but uh, but let's say if i want to see it again on basis of like for an year right what is the lowest month right so the only change what you need to do here is right i would need to change the rank to uh, rank function to h rank function h rank function only works in pivot table and it uh, calculates the rank horizontally instead of uh, what the rank does which does it vertically i hope this is clear and then here here we have to change number of rows into number of columns now once i click on apply so you as you can see we are able to see february has the lowest amount of okay, so basically heat map is one of the very useful visualizations uh, which you could use to understand your data better you can understand trends easily you can understand what are the lowest value what are the highest value for particular dimension values so yeah if you found this uh, video informative make sure you hit on the like button and for more informative videos like this make sure you subscribe and until next time have a good time bye